I know he's a field organizer here at the Alliance and educational director. director here at the Alliance. And so he could tell us a little bit more about how he, who he is and how he came into this work. Okay, that's, that's a long story. <laughs> uh, so I'm glad we got some time. Uh, well, let me, uh, let me just uh, begin with a historical note. Uh, as many of you know, in 1969, one of our, our great young revolutionary leaders in this city, Fred Hampton, uh, along with Mark Clark, was murdered by the police. That was the first assassination of a black leader uh, that we know the police was involved in. They may have been involved in the assassination of Dr. King, but we don't have any direct proof of that. They may have been involved in the assassination of Malcolm X. We don't have any direct proof of that. But we know they were involved in the murder of Fred Hampton. We have direct proof of that. They were on the scene of the crime. And they were the perpetrators. And why were they there? Because Fred Hampton was the leader of a movement in this city unlike anything that existed anywhere else in the country. Although this movement for community control of police started in Berkeley, California, uh, early on in 1969 with uh, Bobby Seale and uh, Huey P. Newton, the most massive development of this movement was here in Chicago under the leadership of Fred Hampton. Mm -hmm. And what he did, he brought together, we call it the first rainbow coalition in Chicago. He brought together the, 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 the Latinx community, black, the black community, and the, uh, some, some young white people calling themselves the, the Patriots. Mm -hmm. That had never happened before. And they tried to create a situation where it would never happen again because uh, they murdered him. And, you know, Fred used to always say you can kill a revolutionary, but you can't kill a revolution. So in 1973, when, when my organization, the National Alliance Against Race and Political Repression, was founded, we took up that mantle, you know. We picked up that torch because uh, we, uh, we knew uh, that Fred Hampton was a martyr for our movement. And so we took up that torch. <clears throat> and then in 1977, we drafted the first <clears throat> model legislation to create a we, we called it at that time a uh, police control board. So the idea of, of, of the black community controlling the police was always there. And it's been there for some time. A lot of people don't know it goes all the way back to black reconstruction, you know, which was a 10 short year period after the Civil War from 1867 to 1877. But I'm not, I don't, we don't have time to review all of that. <laughs> uh, what I want to just make clear is that this is a historic movement <clears throat> that's been going on for a long time. Uh, I've been engaged in it myself for almost 50 years. So uh, it didn't just spring up in Chicago out of nowhere. You know, we, mm -hmm. we have strong historical roots of it right here. Mm -hmm. 